breaking this morning, just days after protesters tried to take down the statue of former mayor and police commissioner Frank Rizzo, the city of Philadelphia did it themselves. Action News reporter Corey Davis is live in Center City. And in fact, Corey, you've got new video of that removal. Good morning. Hey, Tam, good morning. So I want to give you a look here of where that statue was, too, before we get to that new video. But this is right outside of City Hall and Love Park. This is uh, at, on the steps of the Municipal Services Building is where the Frank Rizzo statue was. Really uh, something we don't see every day with National Guardsmen surrounding this entire area where the statue was removed. But I want to get to that video and show you when Cruz removed it uh, this morning, removed that statue of the controversial former Philadelphia mayor and police commissioner from Payne, Payne, Payne Plaza out here across from City Hall and Love Park. This happened around 2 o'clock. National Guardsmen, they were positioned around this entire block, and they made up most of the onlookers who saw it happen. also want to give you a look at some video of the Rizzo Monument on a flatbed truck right before it was hauled away. Protesters recently defaced the statue and set it on fire while trying to pull it down Saturday during protests against pr police brutality and the death of George Floyd. This statue has ignited strong emotions with those against it, referring to Rizzo's record on policing the community, especially in communities of color, black communities to be exact. Rizzo died in 1991, and the statue went up in 98 as a gift to the city, paid for by his family and friends, along with supporters. Mayor Jim Kenney told us over the weekend that plans to remove the statue had been expedited due to protests and would be gone in a month or so, but now it's definitely gone. First of all, I've never liked that statue. I don't think it was deserved in the first place, and I didn't, and I didn't put it there. Uh, we had originally intended to remove it uh, when the work at Dilworth Plaza started. We would have saved a considerable sum of money, a couple hundred thousand dollars. And back live here, we are working on getting a final word on where the statue will be relocated to. And once we find out that information, we will definitely keep you posted. For now, we're live here in Center City. Corey Davis, Channel 6 Action News.